हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम लेट्स लुक एट वन मोर डिस्क्रीट रैंडम वेरिएबल दैट इज जोमेट्रिक रैंडम वेरिएबल एंड दिस विल बी आवर लास्ट डिस्क्रीट रैंडम वेरिएबल नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑनवर्ड्स वी विल बी लुकिंग एट द ऑपरेशंस ऑन दिस सिंगल रैंडम वेरिएबल लाइक फाइंडिंग देयर एक्सपेक्टेशन वेरियन एंड ऑल दिस थिंग्स सो लेट्स लुक एट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस जोमेट्रिक रैंडम वेरिएबल so first let's look at the nature of the experiment so the experiment is that we will be doing infinite number of trials until we get the success if i have to take a, a specific example of this kind let's suppose we are tossing a coin infinite many times until we get the success and let's define the success here that what is success success here is getting the head so what's the experiment here the experiment here is we are tossing a coin infinite many times and these all tosses are independent and we are tossing it until we are getting it getting the head for the first time and let's assume that the probability of getting the head is this p so this p parameter is specify this particular experiment right now if you have understood this experiment if i ask you that what will be the sample space of this experiment so we are tossing a coin infinite many times right and all these tosses are independent so maybe we you will get a head on the on the first toss that could be case so you have to list all those possibilities right that will form the sample space and maybe you will not get the head at the first toss or you will get the head at second toss this is the again possibility maybe you will coin the toss for the first time you get the tail second time you again get the tail third time you get the head what could be other possibility maybe you will again toss the coin you will get the tail again tail again tail and at the fourth toss you will get the head so in this sample space we will have infinite such elements right maybe one of the possible outcome would be like this you toss the coin you get the tail you get the tail again you get the tail again you get the tail and let's suppose you get such k times of tail right and after that you get the head right so our sample space will have the infinite number of such elements right in because we will have the infinite possible outcome so this is our sample space now let me define the random variable for this kind of expert so we have understood the our uh, experiment we have understood that what will be the sample space and all these element will be input to the random variable right now we will have to understand to understand that how random variable is mapping these outcome in other words we will have to define the random variable like how earlier we have defined in case of binomial in case of uniform random variable in case of bernoulli random variable similarly we will have to again define that how this random variable is mapping our outcome to some real line real number so random variable let's say we are defining this random variable that number of tosses until the first head so maybe we will do the experiment and uh, on very first toss we get the success i mean we get the head so this random variable x will take this as a input and it will map this to somewhere at the real number real line to 1 why one because number of tosses how many tosses we have done for this particular we for this particular outcome we have only done the only one tosses only one toss right S that is why how, how random variable has been defined it uh, it is defined as number of tosses until the first head right so you will have to understand the mapping 
from this outcome to from this real number right or maybe we will do the trials maybe we do not get the first success and at the second toss we get the success so this will be our outcome if this is the outcome then random variable will take this as the input and random variable what's the functionality or what's the mapping of this random variable that the number of tosses until the first hit so how many tosses you have done two tosses so random variable map this particular outcome to some value 2 right similarly if you this could be also possibility this could be also possibility this could be also possibility so random variable here can take how many values so it can take 1 2 3 4 5 dot 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 until 6 uh, until infinite right so here this random variable can take values from 1 to infinite right because there could be possibility that we are tossing coin and we are not getting the success or maybe there are possibility from like you can uh, have a thought on other experiment of similar kind let's suppose we are waiting for something and it never happens right so that could be case where a uh, random variable will take the infinite right or for this particular example if we are tossing the coin and tossing coin we are getting tail 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 right we are never getting hit so that could be also possibility right so the overall point is is that random variable x is taking the value from 1 to infinite right now if we have to find the pmf of this random variable that means we have to find the probability of each value that random variable can take so random variable can take so let me uh, draw this on the pmf diagram or the distribution probability distribution function of this random variable x so and here will be x that random variable can take so maybe we will uh, do the experiment and on very first toss we get the head and what's the probability of getting head that is p so on very first li like uh, random variable will take the value 1 that means on very first toss we get the success with the probability p right or maybe th that could be case that you will have to do do two trials because maybe you can you will not get the success at the first trial and you will get the success at second trial that means that time random variable will take the value 2 right and what will be the probability that random variable will take the value 2 so what you have done on the first trial what you have got is tail and on the second trial you have got the head so what will be the probability that random variable will take the value 2 that will be 1 minus p times this p so 1 minus p is the probability of getting tail and p is the probability of getting success or tail Wh why we have multiplied this probability because we have already assumed that all these trials are independent right even random variable can take the value 3 right and what will be the probability that random variable will take the value 3 what do you mean by random variable is taking the value 3 that means we have not got the success on first two trial and on the third trial we have got the success right so we can look at the nature of this PMF right so if I ask you one question that what will be the probability for this particular experiment what will be the probability that no head ever that we have not get uh, the head ever 
what will be the probability that means we are not getting hit and we are doing the trials for infinite times right we are tossing the coin for 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 till infinity right so what we are asking is that that random variable will take the value infinite what's the probability of that right so infinite is not a number and this cannot occur right so that probability will be zero right how we can look at this mathematically we can look so what we are asking is the probability that uh, on the first trial we get the tail 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 and tail and tail and tail let's suppose we did this for k times and in k trials we have not get the head right so what will be the probability of this that will be 1 minus p to the power k right if we are have to find the probability that no head ever that means we have not get head that means we will be doing this or k will like so we will be doing this trial for k tends to infinity right because yeah so if k tends to infinity then what will be this value so this value is less than 1 and greater than 0 so and if you do multiply it for k times where k is tending to infinity ultimately this value will end up to 0 right so probability that no head ever or probability that random variable will take the value will take uh, infinity uh, will be 0 right now let me ask you one question and what will be the probability for the same uh, for the same experiment what will be the probability that this random variable will take the value k so the question is what will be the probability that on kth trial you will get the success what is the probability that on kth trial you will get success uh, or in terms of coin modding how we have already defined the success right success means getting the head so what will be the probability that on kth trial you will get the head so let me know what's the answer for this question in the comment section alright so in next video we will be looking at the operations on these single random variables that is all